thought I shuffled this, but I guess I didn't. Hi, right, it's my time to shine. My mom asked me what my cat going to do when I'm in the hospital. I said, I guess relax and tear up the rugs like she usually do when I'm going for day. I come back, it looked like she was chasing a mouse. And it ain't nothing in here, believe that. I ain't one of them. I ain't going to be bragging, showing mouses and all that. Go get a sterminator. Some things just, you will, but it's just real nasty. Like, <laughs> that's how I look at shit. It might not be you, could be the neighbors, but like, go take care of that. Some things ain't meant for TV. You ain't getting paid. Shit, I should have learned that. I should have been getting paid. Much shit I had on my page. I had the archer. My shit was wild. I had to have a boss lady tell me. Take that shit off of there. You all I see is your big booty, all pink pages, and everything else. They don't need to see that. You don't need nobody knowing your weak spots. I took that shit down. Crack the fuck up. I still show a little bit though. But not how I was. I was raw. Too raw for today. <laughs> With no X-rated pattern. So, I don't need to do that. I need to do what I'm doing for humanity person purpose. Tell people what they need to hear that another ain't going to tell them. They're going to beat around the bush and say other shit. I'm telling you what I see. May not be you, somebody around you, but somebody going through it. And, they, and nobody probably won't believe they going through it because the way it sounds. What I've been through, nobody would ever know the shit I've been through in my life. Like, what the fuck? Somebody emotions all over the place. They sad. It's always somebody sad because they focus on you and not their money. They sad and broke. Crack the fuck up. Sad and broke. It's not a good connection. Not a good connection. No... No, it ain't. All right. I keep up with how many videos I do. All right. Let's see the energy. Somebody was here explaining why they killed somebody. Somebody got a failed victory. Could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Sad victory. Somebody sad and emotions. I hope this ain't a sad read, man. I don't want no sad reading, but I got to give it however it come out. Don't, don't think I like sad readings and stalking readings and people want some shit, want to get people killed and their minds don't get right. Hell no, I don't like them readings, but that's what's going on in our community. That's going on in the world. And if it's coming up, somebody going through something. And somebody probably don't even believe me. Because people be jealous when you got stalkers and people bothering you. I never see nothing like this. Instead of them trying to be there for you, they jealous. Like, how they get that attention? Listen, I got something you ain't got. And you may not even mess with a person. Most people got stalkers because they was opening their legs to too many people. And that's how that go. But not the stalkers I had. They ain't even get this. And then if they had, some did, they only got it once. And I cut it off. I see craziness right after the first time. What this motherfucker doing on the floor? <laughs> he like, oh, you. He under interrogation. This motherfucker let me uh, a bed in the interrogation room on the floor. He told them that he tired of talking and y'all had me dog enough. They telling him for the next 48 hours, they could interrogate him for all these times, which they can. I've been in that situation, still didn't break. Some people won't make it past interrogation. They be wanting water. They give you a blanket. They give you pizza. They give you anything to turn, right? He got on the floor, so I'm going to sleep. Y'all can talk to yourself. And this motherfucker went on the floor with a yellow plastic sheet they gave him and went to sleep. Yo, I ain't never seen nothing like it. Them niggas in the South is funny as shit. That's why I wanted to move down there when I was down there for those six months. I don't know why the fuck I came back up here. I'm thinking about some shit again. Like, I know me. Once I get shit going and popping, oh, I'll definitely be already abundant in the South. Bottom line. And once I go, well, I ain't coming back here. Yeah. I'm told I go to live. I had that house and everything lined up. My ass only was there six months and came back here. But I, I came back here because of reason. I had trials going on. Somebody may have a fell victory in the past. But they got a victory now. Bottom line. Yeah, you turned that victory around. Like, nah. I don't have fell victories. 
Universe, spirit, guys. Yo. Mm. Oh, I'm loving it. Bottom fucking line. This energy is great. I think the divine heard me like, no, I don't want no more sad readings. Somebody is high in, high in something. Listen, with patience, we'll reveal all. This is somebody that's so intu intuitive. Like, this is me, honestly. I'm not just saying that. I'm keeping it real with you. Like, when people talk to me, I already know what the fuck they about to say and what's their next move. And I'll be laughing in my head because they'll come and say something different from what I already know that they really want to say. But they just got to they know they got to watch what they say to me or what they say around me. Or they like, damn, she is in them cars. Everybody in the cars ain't intuitive, bottom line. So don't think everybody that's doing terror can see the future, smart as shit. No, some people just doing it just to do it. But I've been intuitive. I be knowing shit. I know certain numbers. I'm real smart. So it's like people just be talking shit and it goes in one ear, out by other all the time. So in your in your present energy, you got like so much intuitive insight. And you you can read people before they even open their mouth. You don't want to hear that shit. Because once they lie, you go pull that whole paper out on their ass. Their whole life. So, but somebody trying to hide something from you, but they can't. Because you already know what's going on. This could be somebody that got a victory. You wonder, like, how the fuck you turn that victory around? They telling you some bullshit, but you already know. You feel me? Your head, bottom of your feet. You ain't slow. The universe gave you a cup of love. To love yourself. Running for over. A cup of, it could be a new love coming to you as well. From the divine. You could be divinely guided. And you close out some cycles is the reason why you get in this victory and things coming at you the way they coming at you. Because the bottom of the deck is what? The happiest card of the fucking deck. The sun. What more can the fuck we say? You happy as hell. So, like, at the end of the day, somebody may be hiding something, but you already know what that shit is. Like, the divine is just loving the way you are right now. This could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody is just keeping that shit real. Could be me. I don't see me in here, but, hey, every reading ain't going to be for everybody. They ain't going to show all the time the signs either. You can have a reading just like this, and it ain't show... No Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and talk just directly to them. Just like Angel, no Capricorn, Charles, or Virgo. Don't mean it ain't for me. You always take what resonates and you need a rest. Yes, yes, yes. We want to see the high pretest though, because I want to see what somebody trying to hide. What slick shit somebody trying to hide like you slow. Uh, devil energy. This is Capricorn energy as well. Yes, 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 it is me. You push me, I turn into this. But anyway, yeah, devil energy. Um, with the devil at the bottom of the deck and the stuff behind it, somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. The Capricorn could be intuitive. I am, and most Capricorns are. We just got it. Not everyone. I know a lot of January ones is. I really don't know about December too much, but... I just know it's like a lot of December Capricorns I just didn't like. They just be fake. They 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 just fake. Some I met was cool as shit. Some I met was fake. So it's like I don't really, I really don't know. Some of them don't know how to be professional. But I did see some that's professional. You feel what I'm saying? Some grow up. Some don't. So like I don't even know like. I got to really talk to the person. And, like, when you really never talk to the person, you can't really go off of them. People could have you think, oh, the, yeah, she did it. And, and that person might not even be saying that shit. That person probably ain't even evil like that. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like, you just don't know. Capricorns is iffy people. But when you got people around you that's iffy too, it, it don't match. But anyway, for the high preachers, yeah, something definitely is hitting. Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Yeah, something definitely is hitting. But you don't really care about that shit because you got a cup of emotion. You happy as shit from the divine. Maybe somebody high and that they want to marry you or be engaged to you or in a union with you. Could be. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Somebody is coming up out of thinking about how they lost you. That could be hitting from you. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Page of rocks. It could be some new, some new, some good news coming towards you. 
from a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or just good news and gentle about something that you're growing that's coming to you. Um, you also got the uh, Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is not a new beginning in some type of aspect. Maybe something, you, it's not a new beginning. Or maybe a young person want to come and bring you some good news. And they're trying to start a new beginning with you or make something happen. Or somebody you was dealing with that was younger than you. But it's not going to be no new beginning with that person. Not going to be no abundance with that person. You're going to cut through that bullshit and go straight to truth and clarity, period. So either way, it might not be no new beginning there. But the divine still give you that sword because you're not dealing with that. So somebody probably come and try to offer you something. We could be dealing with a Capricorn here that just, this is, feel like me, like bottom line. So I'm going to leave this alone and just go and, um, let's see. I'm going to get the shadows. I want to see who's trying to offer or come to you with some shit and you ain't really be. Yeah, this is probably somebody that's high in how they really feel about you. They want to really marry you, but they, I don't think they're going to come to you. I don't see them in contact with you right now. They just think, or they might just be thinking about how they lost you and they thinking about everything. But, yeah, now, first one is, I understand you better now. So somebody may not understood you in the past, how you rolled, how you talk, how you move, how you dress, how you act, but now they understanding you more. They maybe he wasn't open. I wasn't open and with a lot of people, even in relationships. I just wasn't. You're so easy to see through. This is probably how you felt about somebody that wanna come back to you. I never want to feel that way again. This could be you telling them somebody probably had you fucked up. And I scared myself that day. I always say, you know what I say about this car? Somebody was on something, ready to do something to you or do something they had no business and they back down because they realize, like, what the fuck am I doing? Then I was careless with you. This is somebody that feels though they lost you. They looking back at regret. And with the five of cups here, somebody coming up out of that regret and loss, yeah, that's how they feel. But, oh, well, that's them. As I say, it ain't happening. You're not be You close out cycles and you're moving forward. They can live in the past you in the future. Let's see what's the energy around it oh, they fell out like that i'll take them your angels are with you so whatever you're going through your angels is with you or whatever's going on you are the storm yes you are wake up kick ass repeat yep stay on your shit stay on your shit and go for it go for what the fuck you know that's the energy i love this reading Cause it was just like man listen a lot of people always miss something when they mess up or they see something in somebody that they should have been seen they should have just been behind somebody i was with people they wasn't really with me they was on other shit they was doing too much i supposed to have been let me see how, how i think this would have been i've been here too i supposed to have been in my fourth year of marriage divine didn't want that from me he said fuck no like literally, I'm supposed to be in my fourth year of marriage. That's what that's what I thought. I was happy. I was like, I'm getting married. I chill out. I ain't got work. Shit, motherfuckers get too comfortable. They too sneaky. They do that shit in the first year. You wanna be sneaky and get too comfortable? You better wait for at least two years at least to show something. You can't show your true self at, like in the first in the first month or two. That's stupid. Some people don't know the goals and things of marriage. I ain't got time for it. They only know about themselves and bum bitches. And taking pictures with bum hoes. That's why I be like, people be moving on so fast. I'm like, they crazy. They don't be thinking. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. I mean, you don't supposed to stop your life, but keep jumping to the next person. I don't believe that shit that... When you move on, um, what they say, you move on and, and, and let you leave the past alone. That's a fucking lie. You're covering up pain and hurt. You're supposed to deal with that situation. I moved on. Did I move on fully since that situation? 
maybe once. But I wasn't even ready to move on. I just did it. I said, everybody else want to move on? Shit, let me post up a picture too. <laughs> Crack the fuck up. Because don't you ever think you can hurt me. I can hurt you back a hundred fucking fold. I don't play them games. Especially when niggas, I break your fucking heart. I show you some shit. And I make sure his money way longer than you. That's how I used to be. I go the highest, the higher, the higher. I dealt with you. You was close to making that. I'm going to go find somebody that's higher than you. You can't fuck with. I never backslide. And that's what I'm not doing now. I ain't backsliding. Not even for no one night stand either. I, no. I'm chilling. Unless I want to mess with somebody. And you got to catch me in that mood right then and there. If not, I turn cold and you won't touch me for months. And I ain't lying, but ask somebody. They'll tell you, oh, she get mad. Ain't no sex with her in the house for months. Yeah. That's how I feel, especially I get that intuition like I did with somebody. Twice, two people. They tell me, I ain't man. I wasn't even doing my tarot cards at that time. I'm like, listen, I already know. Like, I hate a liar. That's when I turn evil. And then I start trying to find somebody I'm going to deal with. The fuck? I don't do it. But I start being so nasty and cold, you won't want to leave. You ain't going to have a happy home and give a dick out. I ain't having that shit. I don't play that shit. Get down? But anyway, that's the read for tonight. It was great. I may do one more because I'm bored. And I'd rather do readers because I ain't going to go right to sleep off the bat. What is this? Peace, light, and blessings.